Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where, of course, every day is a train show. Engineer Hall, did you have an amazing Halloween? I had a great Halloween. Oh, stuff. man, How about I yourself? had so many trick-or-treaters, and they actually came in railroad themes. Did you know that? Oh, tell me about them. All right, well, there was some guy that dressed up as a Penn Central guy, mm -hmm. uh, but he kept crashing in my front yard. Oh. Uh, it's never made it to me. Uh, there was an Amtrak guy. But he showed up like four hours late. Uh, and then there was a steam guy, but he just, there's cinders all over my front yard. It's crazy. Crazy. So, yeah. But there was a lot of really cool things that happened. I hope you had a great Halloween. And you know what's happening, Engineer Hall? What's happening? We're getting towards that holiday season where it's trains, trains, and... Trains. Oh, yeah. And you we know got, it. Oh, yeah. We got some new things that we're going to be taking a look at. Let's take a look at some Husky Stacks that maybe some of your holiday packages will be coming in if you were that big. Let's check it out. Or refrigerator. Ooh, okay. Ooh. So these are, what are these? These are refrigerator containers, okay? And these are from Scale Trains. This is probably the Operator Series, and I got them in HO and N Scale. So you N Scale fans, there you go. And these are really nice looking detailed containers here. What would be in here, Engineer Hall? Ooh, it could be any uh, produce, like say a turkey Ooh. or ham or even uh, vegetables, grapes, watermelon, any refrigeration. Man, you had me a turkey. I didn't realize Congress was in this thing. Ooh. So anyway, if you take a look at what's happening here, you can see they got all the nice little intricate detailings here. And then on this side, ooh, look at that. That's even crazier. Look, there's even a history. Do you want to know the history of it? Let's hear it. All right, so it says the CIMC 53-foot reefer container was first produced in the early 2000s and is common on intermodal trains today. Visually, the container is virtually identical to the Hyundai version, so we are offering paint schemes for both real-world manufacturers. Isn't that exciting? That's pretty cool. You got to have and have a modern, add it to your modern fleet. That's right. And guess what? All right. So you're right. So the HO version of these is $53 retail, but we're selling them here at Yankee Double for $42.99. And subtract a dollar and you get the N-Scale version at $41.99. So if you are looking for a container to put on your Hussy Stacks, I recommend you get them. Pick me. Oh, they want you. So get them today. All right. So we have a new item to show you. Excited, Engineer Hall? Always decided to see new stuff in Gadabler. You always show your Ralph Finn videos. I want to show one. Well, I'm not at that part of the show well, yet. Well, I, I saw five engines. I think they were blue. They were in Albuquerque. I don't know where that is, but I was really excited to be there. All right. So you took a video of five diesels. Yeah, five. I don't know if they were diesels. They made a lot of noise. All right. Well, all right. To make Christian happy, I'm going to show a little rail fan video. So check out Christian's rail fan video. There's nothing there. Oh, well, I, I might have forgotten to take the lens cap off. It, the tricky little things, you know? Get out. Just okay. get out. That's what my mom said. <sighs> Sorry, folks. We're going to do our first unboxing engineer haul. Are you excited? Let's go do it. Oh, yeah, because a lot of people online do unboxing videos, so check this out. We got a, a nice one here from Class 1 Model Works. Relatively new to the game, 2020 here. And look, these are GSC HD flat cars. This car is in high definition. Heavy duty, Ooh. high definition. There yeah, you go. I think it's, I think it's high def. Let's Heavy see. Duty. I don't know. We'll check this out. That's high def, right? Yeah. All right. So we're gonna do the unboxing. First of all, take a look at the box here. I mean, I love the diagram that I have here. So of course, this is called a heavy duty flat car. But this is a really new looking car here. Let's do the unboxing. This is gonna be really exciting. I see people do this, right? Right. So they take it out of the box and. I'm done. Take out the plastic. All right, I'll take the plastic. Hmm. All right, how about that, right? All right, I'll take it out of the box. All right, so check out these cars. These are really cool here, and these are actually exclusive cars here. One out of 100 produced exclusively by Home Shops for Class 1 Model Works. Hmm. And check out here. I got a six-wheel, three-axle truck, and I got two of them. See? Uh, uh, okay, yeah, okay. I, I see what you're doing. Love all the grading that's happening in here. 
This one is called the NOT. The other one I have here is actually the MCIS. They're just different types of, this is, uh, it says Michigan Interstate on here. So maybe our friends in Michigan could get this one. I mean, these are just really nice looking cars here. And uh, let's be honest, you don't really see a lot of heavy duty flat cars there, Don. It's a little bit of a depressed flat car. What type of lure would go on here, Engineer? Huh? Oh, the, mainly it should be like a, a transformer going in a car, but other things can go in there also. Or really fat people going to Dunkin' Donuts. Ooh. Yeah. Spicy. Oh, yeah. I have a weird railroad. Anyway, so these engines, or cars rather, these sell for, let me see if I can find it here. So they retail for $64.99, but we are selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $59.99. So it's a really cool car to get. I really like the look there. Oh, are those metal couplers, Engineer Hall? They might just Ooh, be. Ooh, that is awesome. So come to Yankee Dabbler, get these. Again, these are exclusive. One of 100 made. So if I get one, how many are left there, Engineer Hall? There's 99. Right. So if I got two, how many would be there? How about three? 97. How about four? 96. How about five? 95. How about six? Hey, we not, this is not a math class. Seven. This is not a math class. Nah. We're going to make our end scalers very happy by taking a look at not one, but two different diesel locomotives here that I hope you're really going to enjoy. DJ, gonna... Whoa. I got one this time. Oh, you have another rail fan video? Yeah. Okay, you see I'm talking about diesels, right? I don't care. Okay, what is this rail fan video? I saw the big boy. When? Just now. It just Ju went Just by. now in Jersey. You yeah. saw the big boy. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Uh, is the lens cap off on this video? Yeah, I, I got it off with my teeth last time and I swallowed it, so I couldn't put it back on. Okay, here's Christian's big boy. That's a restaurant! That's not a train! Well, I got hungry after I swallowed the lens cap, so I went there. But it's a big boy. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Adios. Okay. Hasta mañana. He doesn't know how to speak English, but he knows Spanish. All right, let's take a look at some U23Bs from Atlas here. I really like these engines here. I have three different paint schemes for us to choose from. We have here the Chessie system. I have here the Lehigh Valley. And then I have a Penn Central one here. Look at that. Black and white. Now, these are really cool looking diesel locomotives here. Of course, our end scalers. If you're looking for a kind of an early style diesel, these can be uh, fit the bill here. I like the chassis system. They're always my, one of my favorite paint schemes here. So, you excited to hear what this sounds like, Engineer Hall? Absolutely. All right. So, let's get her fired up and see what we got. All aboard. All right, let's take a listen to the bell. Here is the horn. Whoa. That is a powerful horn. All aboard.
cool sound of diesel. I really like that horn there, and I always love those early style diesels that sound like they're just got to conk out because they're working so hard. So the retail value of this engine is two thirty nine ninety five, but we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for one sixty four ninety nine. So it's a cool deal to get on these engines. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get one of those U twenty three Bs. And as promised, I actually have a second end scale diesel that we're gonna take a look at. So let's fire that one up and see what it looks like. So here are these other diesels I was talking about here. I actually technically have two different ones here. So I have the SD50 right here again from Atlas here. And this is part of the Lake State Railway. That's a pretty cool looking diesel. And then rest are SD60Es, including the Terminal Railroad, uh, Railroad Association. I have the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. I have, I'm not too familiar with this one. Do you know anything about this railroad? I know none about this one. Uh, NS, I, I never heard of it, no, but there are two NS versions there. That is the first responders unit, and then I have here the veterans unit. Now, why don't you go into the first responders unit here? To check out, I mean, first of all, the, the paint scheme on this one this is just fantastic. I love it. I love the look of these. They do have ditch lights there. I mean, what's more to say about it? It's just like they look super cool. I love the look of these engines here. And Engineer Hall, would you say that these engines still operate today? Absolutely. Have you ever operated one of these before? Of course, I operated and ran one. Oh, okay. Do you have a picture of you running one? Not that particular one, but I have some others. Of this one? Yeah, yeah, we had a couple of them in the yard. All right, and the picture day. will be right here, right? Maybe. Okay. If not, I want to see a dog wearing a funny hat. Anyway, so <laughs> that's if you don't have a picture. <laughs> so, uh, which one would you like to run, Engineer Hall? Oh, uh, no, let's do the first one we saw. Let's do the first responders? Sure. All right, let's do the first responders. Tell you what, why don't we mix it up? We'll run this one and the veteran ones. There we have it. We'll get every, everyone's happy that way. First of all, let's blow that horn. Is that that E-Bell Engineer Hall? That's the E-Bell. Oh, yeah. Let's get started. Shall we? Let's high bar. Did the real thing stop that fast? Yeah, if you need to. Absolutely. All right, so the retail value of these inches is two sixty four ninety nine, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for one seventy four ninety nine. So it's a great deal to get on these engines here, just for sake of accuracy. Come here, I'm gonna make Engineer Hall very happy. Okay, this guy right here is technically SD sixty. M, okay? Yes. I don't want all the SC60M people to send us nasty emails. I know you're out there, okay? So, but the price for all of them is the same. $174.99. It's a great deal to get on these engines here, especially if you're an NS fan or you just want to get something a little bit different with those other guys. So come to Yankee Dabba and get these engines today. All right, so we have an HO locomotive here from Athens. We've been seeing a lot of Athens stuff lately, haven't we? Athens been pumping them out. They have been, and you know what happens is they all show up at the same time, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so your ball will 
will thank you later. Or your credit card bill. Or actually, none of it will thank you. But anyway, we have here an AC4400. I think you got like. I have six different versions for you to choose from. First one here is the Kansas City Southern here in the gray paint scheme. And then I have here one that's CP Rail. That is a great looking design there. I have here the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. And then finally, the Union Pacific. And that is a neat looking scheme. I mean, it's hard to do wrong with those. And then we actually just got these two, and I didn't have time to get out. But look, they're international. I got the Ferramex here, and then I got the Quebec Cartier Railroad. Ooh. I might have said that right. Cartier. I don't know. If we saw in a, we saw our demographics, we saw 3% of the people that watch our show are from Canada. So. And thank you. Uh, I think 1% of is from Sparky 107, but the other two, you know. Okay. Wait, so you're saying three people? I'm going to say three. <laughs> I, I, so I know one. I, I said I know one percent of person. I sure then. hope not. Well, anyway, so we have um, some people in Canada. So if, if uh, I said that right, let me know. But anyway, these are really cool looking diesel locomotives. I really enjoyed the design of these. So why don't we check one out? Which one do you want to run, Engineer Hall? Um, let's pick the ghost gray one. Ooh, the ghost gray one? Because it was Halloween, so it's kind of spooky. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let's go. All right, so I got that Kansas City Southern on the track. Let's get her started here and uh, see what it sounds like. Are you ready? Is it Wait, just run it. DJ, what? before you do that, what? put that on. I just remembered while I was in the bathroom, you don't have to worry about what I was doing in there, uh, that I saw the Acela on what, Amtrak. In, in the bathroom? No, like weeks ago, like okay. December. So you take a video of the Acela? Yeah. And you want to show it? Yeah. They're going to like this one. Let, are you sure it's not an Olive Garden that you like took a picture of or something? No, I made that mistake before. Real Pictures didn't like that. Roll it. Where is it? Oh, it, probably like that way. What? The train. It went past. Why'd you show me a video of nothing? Just in case. In case what? It came back. You took the video! It's not gonna... Mr. Nudo always comes back. Anyway, let's start this Kansas City Southern, shall we? We can scan it for you, sir. I'm gonna drop my phone. I like that. Ooh, that is a cool sound of the engine. Engineer Hall, did you shake a little bit when you heard that horn? I almost dropped my phone that on was, it. That was, was great super loud. Horn. So the retail value of these engines is three sixty nine ninety nine, but we're selling out here at Yankee Dappler for two eighty nine ninety nine. So it's cool to get on those engines. I think you personally need all of them, don't you think, Engineer Hall? Oh, absolutely. And you know what these all are? They're going to be on your layout someday, right? No, actually, mine's no, I meant the customers. I meant the customers' layout. Bye, okay? Frank. Bye. The customers' layout, right? Not your layout specifically. Oh, okay, yeah, the customer's layout, yes, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. But Which no, some are so. going to be on the layout, though. Some are going to be on the layout, All though. Right, well, he's designated a couple for himself. So come to Yankee Dabble before Engineer Hall buys them all. Christian, I highly doubt you just saw a blue comic go by your house. I am not showing the video. No. No. Show the video. That was a waste of time. All right, let's take a look at all the things that we have here or what we saw on today's show. So from Athens here, we have these AC 4400s. Hey, AC, is that same for air conditioning? No, also need current. Uh, I like mine better. I have here these SC60s, E's, M's, and these U35, uh, 23Bs, as well as the SD50. Then I have these container cars here. And from class one, I have these heavy duty flat cars. 
But of course, if you're looking for something that we didn't see in today's show, that's all right. Just go on yankeedabbly.com, type in what you're looking for in the search bar, and we'll get it shipped and sent to you so you can just have so much fun with it. You, you can hardly condemn yourself. Again, it is getting time for the holiday season. It is train season, which means you need to be on our website 25 hours a day, eight days a week. It's only 24 I, That's seven. how much you need to be on our website because we are just continuously adding stuff. You want to see something? Oh, you know what? They last savings time. Oh, no, no what? You lose an hour. No, that's not good. Mm. I don't like that. Stupid farmers. Anyway, what I want you guys to do is go on our website, yankeedabble.com, and check this out. We're going to go on a little tour. Come here, Engineer Hall. Ready? All right, come on. Ready? Look. What, 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 New what? trains. New trains. New trains. Look. What do you mean? You put them, we haven't we showed them yet. Wait, no, look. What, what? New trains. New trains. New trains. Boxes. 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 Bo look here. Look. What's up? What's up? Look. New trains. New, tra New trains. Dude, yeah, we time. have so much stuff. We can't even get them on the show because we just have so much stuff coming in. It's ridiculous. Dude. So what you need to do is you need to check our website because we're always adding new stuff. And by the way, another good way to catch up what's coming up is subscribe to Engineer Hall's channel. Right, Engineer Hall? Absolutely, yeah, dude. Such a great channel. How many subscribers? We're almost at the 5,000. I'm at the 5,000. Oh, yeah. Why do you keep packing up? Am oh, I we, we, big? Am I getting that fat that you need the back? No, no, the storage oh, is stabbed with I, trains. I, Hold I, on, the storage is stabbed with trains. All right, am I in the shot now? You in the shot. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, subscribe to Engineer Hall's channel and get caught up on all the latest and greatest things. As a matter of fact, this year he told me he's going to have a Santa train. Absolutely. Right. It's all going to my house. Yeah, and it calls Santa Fe running. How about that? Um, okay. Anyway, so we're going to do something a little different. We tried Christians that rail fans videos. They didn't work too well. I was talking about my layout, okay? I haven't had a lot of progress because, let's see, I had a baby. So that kind of takes up a lot of your time. Papa DJ. But what I did is I actually am starting the process of getting the train room group uh, going. You know, that like 20 minute a space where he falls asleep and then I fall asleep. So I actually decorated a little bit. Uh, I want to show you some of the things I have going for the train room. So this is going to be DJ layout update number one. You excited? Ah, man, better than what I got going on. All right, let's check it out here. So here is layout update number one. Now, if you excuse me, I got to, as you see, I have all the stuff that I got to go in here. Uh, I mean, this is buildings, there's cars, there's all types of stuff. I don't know where to begin. I'm getting a little, oh, I'm sorry. I'm too, too fat for the shot. No, there's too many trains. You got to back up show how much, it's literally so many trains here. All right, so I know it's been a long time since I gave a layout update, uh, but let's see. I had a baby and fill in the gap there. That's pretty much it. Uh, I actually spent a lot of time getting my son's layout built, and I showed you a video of that. And then uh, in this room, I actually had to have these walls built. These weren't here originally. This room used to be wide open, so I wanted to get that closed in so I can... Uh, put my trains in here. So I got the walls built and now it's finally, now I had some type of a sleep schedule with my son. I'm finding time to kind of add things to the layout here or there. And the first thing I thought about doing is, you know, I got a lot of artwork, a lot of things I want to hang up here. So what better way to get started than put stuff up on the wall. And then once I do that, I can worry about the bench work. So this is the easy way to get started. And then we'll get worried about bench work. But why don't we take a look at some of the things I have on the wall? Cause I think you might like them. All right, so I dedicate this photo for Engineer Hall. This is a poster I was able to find of the NS Heritage Engines. This uh, piece is called Family Portraits. And the neat thing about this is this was the uh, start of the NS Heritage Program, which basically kind of started all the heritage uh, uh, operations that we see today. And the neat thing about this picture is I'm able to locate all the patches of all the engines that are represented here. So all 20 of them. Uh, I have a bunch of these engines here, so I thought, what better way to represent it than putting it on the wall? So, Engineer Hall, you kind of turned me into an NS fan, so this one's dedicated to you. Right over here, I have another poster that I was able to find at the Fort Wayne Railroad Historic Society. Um, Nickel Plate Road number 765 was one of my all-time favorite engines. And in 2022, they celebrated their 50th anniversary, so I was able to get this. And the neat thing about this is that um, at that time, the 358 was not operational. That's an SD9 that they have. Uh, but I was able to see it later this year, or earlier this year, rather. Uh, so that is a really neat piece. I love uh, demonstrating the... Uh, Berkshires whenever I can. Right up here, I have a neat piece here. It's an old school line out sign. 
And the story behind this one is I actually bought this for a friend of mine and I got it professionally framed with a blue, uh, the Lionel color blues frame with the cream background. And then when I cut it back, I kind of liked it. So it kind of stayed with me. So, uh, but that's a neat looking piece there. I love it, it says multi-volt transformers, very old school text there, but it is a neat piece and I found a nice home here. And then this particular piece is one of my all time favorites. Now it might not look at much at first, but when you understand what it is, it's really cool. So in 1976, uh, Ross Rowland had the American Freedom Train. And one of the things that he had to do is he had to uh, sell it to corporations in order to get money. Well, he hired a conceptual artist named Bob Lorenzen who came up with uh, designs of what the Freedom Train would look like so Ross could take it to the companies to raise money to finance the project. Well, I was able to locate this uh, artwork, piece of artwork here. And if you check it out here, it's actually signed by the artist, which is really cool. Fast forward a little bit, I was able to actually meet Ross Rowland when I was seeing 765. See the connection here? And I went up to him and I said, you know, excuse me, it's very nice to meet you, I don't want to bother you. I have a ticket from the American Freedom Train, a family member gave me, I would really much like to have it signed. So he handed me his business card, said mail it to me, I'll get it signed to you. I send it out and a week later, I got the ticket signed. So not only do I have an autographed photo from the conceptual artist that designed the American Freedom Train, but I have an autographed ticket of the band that created the Freedom Train. So. I don't know, there might be others out there. As far as I know, I might be the only person in the world that has these two pieces put together. So I just love this piece, I love looking at it. And in a couple of years we'll be celebrating our 250th anniversary. So you might see some more love for the Freedom Train coming out soon, but I really enjoy this piece and I'm so happy I have it. And then right over here, I have the very first engine I ever rode, number 31. And this design here, this picture is actually taken by Lero Productions. This is a charter to the Strasbourg. I want to say it was either 2008, 2009 timeframe, maybe 2007. Uh, but my very first engine that I ever rode, it's uh, the reason I love trains. And so I had to have that demonstrated on the wall. One of the things I wanted to do was have some dealer signs up here and I was able to locate these two. This first one here is from MTH and I understand maybe not a lot of HO guys like MTH because they kind of do weird stuff, but in O scale land, I actually really enjoy MTH. They did a lot of really neat stuff there. I was able to find the sign here. I don't know if you can know, but tell, but the smokestack is actually uh, puffing smoke. It looks like it's animated. It's really cool. Again, MTH didn't make a lot of animated signs or any dealer signs really for sale. So to find them was kind of hard and I was lucky enough to find that one. And then down here, of course, you gotta have the Keystone, right? If you live in the East Coast and you're a train guy, you gotta love the Pennsylvania Railroad. Uh, I had to have that demonstrated here. And then over here, I have my other dealer sign here from Lionel Trains. These are a little bit easier to find here, but uh, you know, I gotta have my Lionel. If you're a Noska guy, you definitely have or had line out at some point. And then of course I have another uh, re another representation of my favorite engine, number 31 here. I had this made a couple years ago, the number plate. Um, that's my number, that's my engine, had to have the plate. All right, so those are some of the things that I have hanging up. I have some sports stuff on the wall too, but uh, this is a train show. We don't uh, care about sports right here. Uh, and as you can see, I have some of my tape, blue painters tape here, kind of labeling where the uh, the height of the layout's going to go, and then over here, this is where the mountain's going to be going. So I have things, a whole, a whole bunch of stuff that I have planned out here. Uh, I actually just bought a whole bunch of rail racks. If you take a look over there, that's where all the rail racks are going up there. I have to design on it before I'm up there. I have them here on the floor. Just got to find time to do it. So it takes time, but uh, with time will come some really neat stuff. So I'll update you as we go on. So uh, I hope you enjoyed kind of my first uh, take of the update of my train room.